Here we go through an example of a TLB invalidation DVM request followed by a synchronization DVM operation. This example shows the different parts of a DVM request, the snoops generated by the DVM node, and how a DVM sync ensures that prior DVM operations have been executed. Request node 0 issues a TLB invalidation DVM request to the DVM node. The DVM node responds with a DBID response message indicating it can accept the second part of the DVM request. Request node 0 issues a write data message to the DVM node. And when the DVM node receives the second part of the DVM message, it issues the two DVM snoops to request node 1. Request node 1 acknowledges the DVM by sending a snoop response to the DVM node. The DVM node receives the snoop response and issues a completion message to request node. Then the request node 0 issues a DVM sync operation to the DVM node. The DVM node responds with a DBID response message to request node 0. And request node 0 receives a DBID response sending the write data message to the DVM node. The DVM node then issues the DVM snoops to request node 1. And since this second DVM operation requires synchronization, request node 1 waits to send the snoop response until all the outstanding DVM operations have completed. Finally, after receiving the snoop response, the DVM node issues a completion message to request node 0.